So after the Holy Spirit, the creed goes on to say that we believe in uh, the Holy Catholic Church. It's interesting that these two are linked. Very important, I think, because it's the Holy Spirit that gives birth to the Church. The effect of the Spirit's presence is to create the Church. As Christians, I believe we should all be members of a congregation. I don't think uh, one can be an individual Christian without going to church, being a member, because the Church is Christ's body. That's not a, an organizational thing about joining an institution. It's about belonging to the whole community and body uh, of uh, Jesus Christ. The Church is the place where we cease to be isolated individuals and we become persons in relation. And that's very important because it reminds us that to be a Christian is not to be a solitary individual. Without mutual love, however correct our verbal expression of faith may be, it is not true because truth without love ceases to be the truth. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, says Jesus, that you love one another. So communion emphasizes the essence of the church as mutual love. As a community, we care for one another, we share with one another. We're a community. Our homes are part of the church. The church isn't prim primarily a social service agency. It has social service functions. It is to relieve the poor, to give a shelter to the homeless, to help the abused mother. Uh, it is not an evangelistic agency, although it has evangelistic purposes to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not a political agency, but it does try to help the polis, the, 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 the way the local society governs itself. But the one thing it is, first and foremost, is a place where people gather to worship Jesus Christ. And out of that worship, uh, they are transformed into the people that God wants them to be, and they are sent out in the world to do these various and sundry wonderful things. The Creed goes on to speak about the Holy Catholic Church. And each of those little words, I think, is very helpful in understanding more of what it means to believe in the Church. When I hear the phrase Holy Catholic Church in the Apostles' Creed, I think of a myriad of things. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that word holy. I like that word holy tacked on there. Very important. Holy? There were those who thought that the Holy Church meant um, that it was only composed of people who were holy. And I take holy to mean uh, in, the in the original Old Testament sense of set apart, something that's sacred, that's set apart for a sacred purpose. Ordinary people ordinary ordinary structures, ordinary groups, but because of the association with God, they're called holy. He calls them special, holy. The church, as well as being the body of Christ and the fullness of the Spirit, is also an empirical community of sinful people. So when we speak of the holiness of the church, we are speaking of Christ as alone holy through the Spirit and in the Spirit. And we recognize that though we are members of the church, yet we are also sinners. It isn't a club for those who are cured, it's a hospital or a convalescent home for those who are being cured. And here and now we're all of us on the way. The ironic thing is, when we admit that we fail to live up to holiness, we're beginning to live up to holiness in a way that the gospel calls us to. Now this word Catholic, it simply means universal. There is one body and one spirit and one faith and one hope and one Lord, one baptism, one God and Father of all. And we belong to this one God who we know in this way. And we are called to struggle to work out that unity. Although there may be many Christian denominations they all have this same basis in the one Savior, Jesus Christ, and the one gospel which he makes possible. People of every tribe and every tongue and every nation uh, belong to that uh, church. We are a church that brings in people from all every nation, every culture, uh, 
even you can even say past, present, and future. It's, it completely brings us together. When I say I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, if I'm saying that with any degree of integrity, I am committing myself to living my life in relationship with my fellow believers and with those outside the church in a Christ-like way. I'm committing myself in my own finite context to being a living cell of that body of Christ, to being the presence of that holy Catholic Church. So it's not just, you know, something I ascribe to intellectually, so I'll go to heaven when I die. But rather, it is a commitment to actualize that reality in my life, in my community of faith, in the world.